welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another AEW collection review, guys. And it is not an unrivaled collection review, guys. We are diving into our first look at the AEW Unmatched Series. Unmatched Series number one, figures one and two, Kenny Omega and Darby Allin. So excited to dive into this, man. I, I feel like, you know, this set was announced, and now here it is in the flesh, in the plastic. Very excited for it, man. Kenny Omega, Darby Allin. We have seen these guys in the series before, but they're two of the super stars of AEW and I had to get into them first. I mean, they're figures number one and two, man, so I had no other choice. I, ha I had to dive into these guys getting our hands on another Kenny Omega and a Darby Allen. I'm super excited for it, man. Before we get into the figures themselves and crack them out of the packaging, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the AEW Unmatched series figures and the AEW Unrivaled collection figures so you guys can see the differences here. So you got the names down the sides and the Unmatched series is pretty much silver and blue compared to the black and gold of the regular Unrivaled collection. I'm still going to refer to these as unrivaled figures, so if you guys get that confused, to me, AEW unrivaled figures are the same as WWE elites. So just because a WWE elite figure is in Royal Rumble packaging or whatever, or some other different line, they're still elite figures. So I'm still going to call these unrivaled figures, even though it is an unmatched collection, if that makes any sense. I know, it's it's very weird. It, the, the name of the review is going to be unmatched, but they're still unrivaled I, I don't I don't know. What do you call it? I mean, they're the same style figure, just in different series. It's not like a basic to an elite. I don't know. But you guys can see here, front viewing window of the talent. You get images of the talent there. Very similar packaging, except you get silver foil at the top, silver foil here, and then a blue background there. Which packaging do you like down in the comment section below, man? I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. The silver and blue is very fresh, but I think the classic black and gold may take the cake. But anyways, guys, here's the front viewing windows of both talents spinning it around. You get their names on the side. AEW logos there. One and two in the series. On the back, you get an image of both men there. Autographs there. Still the same thing as the Unrivaled collection. Rest of the figures in the wave. AEW logo over here. Silver foil at the top. And that is your Unmatched series packaging. If you guys are like the these. I think you can pre-order them. I don't know if they're in stock right now, but go over to WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Get in on all the awesome SDCC pre-orders as well as grab your very own AEW action figures. Unrivaled collection, unmatched collection. Who gives a hoot? Let's crack these guys out of the packaging and find out what Kenny Omega and Darby Allin from the Unmatched series are all about. All right, guys, so here is Kenny Omega and Darby Allen out of the packaging. Unmatched Collection Series number one looking pretty damn good, man. Already, like, I have been posing these guys around already, and I am very impressed. Like, I am, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good stuff, man. I can't wait to get into it with you. It's it's outstanding. You guys know how the two-in-one reviews work. We're going to run through one guy's accessories and then one guy and then go back to the other side's accessories and the other guy. So let's start off with Darby Allen, man, the TNT champion in this set, not the current. TNT champion, you know what I'm saying? But let's dive into Darby Allen's accessories, guys, and then we will dive into Darby Allen and then run it back and take a closer look at the cleaner's accessories and the cleaner himself. So diving into Darby Allen's accessories, man, he comes with a pretty good amount of stuff, man. Starting out first, let's get into his skateboard. Now, with his Series 3 Unrivaled Collection figure, we actually got a skateboard as well. And for some reason, I can't find mine. Like, I don't know what happened to it. Absolutely sucks eggs. I thought I put it in this one drawer. It's not there. I don't know what to do, but this one's better anyway, right? On the top of the grip tape, it does say the face of TNT. Got a nice like ghoulish like graphic going on right there. I like the font. The grip tape's also distressed and it is peeled off right there. It's got a nice sculpt going on with it, which I really like. It doesn't feel like grip tape like a typical, you know, tech deck or something like that. And I do have a tech deck to actually compare it to. So the tech deck is actually a little bit longer than the, you know, the actual AEW skateboard that we get right here. But on the bottom, you do get a really sick Darby Allen graphic. You can see his face there. It says relentless. You do get the trucks on there, the orange wheels, and I love the distressed look of the wood and everything. Very nice details going on on the skateboard. I like it a lot. Let's see if I can get a trick going right quick. I went through a stint like two years ago where I wanted to collect tech decks, and I literally bought one pack, and this is one of the ones that I use the most. It's even got like some distress there from all the riding, but let's just see how I do right here. You got a little something special going on there, young man. 
There we go, baby. All right, I still got it a little bit. Back to the accessories, guys. Getting into the leather jacket. I feel like this is pretty similar to the last jacket that we got with our Darby Allen Series 3. Again, nice sculpts going on right here. It is rubber, which I'm not a big fan of. However, it is very flimsy, so you can get this on. I got it off relatively easy. It's got good details and sculpt going on with it. You can see, like, the dirt on there. You got the gold zippers and everything like that. The hood is sculpted on there. Very nice sculpt, and again, it's not, like, thick. It can't. You guys can see it. It bends relatively easy. So if you guys wanted to keep that on the figure, whatever, looks pretty good there. And then we have a look at the TNT Championship. Now, this is not the current in, you know, the current look of the championship, but it is the black, gold, and red version. So you guys can see the TNT there. The AEW side plates look really good. One thing I will say, though, is I feel like the TNT Championship here is a little bit oversized. Like, I feel like it could be shrunk by maybe like 15 or 20% maybe overall, but it's not the biggest deal ever. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the figure later, but here is the TNT Championship that came with the ringside exclusive exclusive Cody and you guys can see the two different versions right here now we got to get another version because you know we got a whole new version so there's a difference between the championships again probably a little bit too oversized in my opinion but it still looks really good it's really clean and I like the way the championship came out so that pretty much wraps up Darby Allen's accessories man let's get into Darby Allen himself so starting out at the top of the Darby Allen head sculpt man I like this uh, attire much better or this attire this uh, body slash face paint a lot better than the series three the series three was kind of his standard look I like this like grimacing head sculpt that we got going on. I love like the tree slash roots coming down in the white and black. And then you got the half skull face paint there, which is what Darby Allen is known for. Blonde hair looks really good. I like the necklace mold as well. I really dig this, man. This looks absolutely sick. I love it. I, I loved it as soon as we saw the render image. I like the way it came out in figure form. You also have his tattoo here on his sleeve. Very sweet tattoo sleeve, man. Like the x-ray, you know, like bone skeleton arm that is underneath. In real life, I'd say it's probably a a little bit darker than this. It's probably, you know, it's it's pretty packed in there with the dark ink. However, I still like the way it looks. Looks really sweet. Just a badass tattoo in general, and it matches the whole theme of, like, his wrestling gimmick and everything, which is very much appreciated. You get his black short shorts there with the belt on there. Got some nice white covering over his black shorts. You do get the black leggings as well. Some rips at the bottom of the shorts. White wrist tape over here, and he has his fingernail polish as well. Going down into his Timberland-esque boots. The black boots there look really good. Oh, man, the Darby Allen figures are just awesome, man. They're so awesome. Like, they feel so good in the hand, and they're very fun to pose around. I know a ton of people say the Series 3 figure is their favorite figure that uh, AEW has put out so far, or Jazzwares has put out so far, and I wouldn't even doubt it, man. This figure feels phenomenal in the hand. It can pose around really, really well. You guys know the AEW figures, they bring it on the articulation, man. The double jointed arms are just delicious. What do you want, man? This is excellent. I love this figure. It's very fun to pose around and stuff, but the Darby Allen details look great, and if you guys want to see the back of the figure, he also has the Relentless tag too, and there's a back shot of him there. Just a really great piece. Oh yeah, and he also has the little hearts on his, uh, or the one heart on his left boot. That's a nice detail. And then for your Darby Allen figure comparisons, guys, here is the Unrivaled Collection Series 3 Darby Allen on the left, and then the new Unmatched Collection Series 1 on the right. And I definitely like the newer one. I like the tattoo. I like the body paint slash face paint. I like the face sculpt better. I, I just like the attire overall better. He comes with the TNT Championship, and he has the skateboard that is slightly better too with graphics and stuff. So, I'd say the Unmatched version is better, but damn, they're both very nice, but if you guys want to see what they looked like, there is that, and I mean, I guess uh, people are going to want to know, right, so you guys know the interchangeability of the AEW figure, so if you guys want to see what the uh, unmatched looks like on the unrivaled body, there is that with the gray shorts and the tattoo on the gray shorts and stuff, and then with the black shorts with the no tattoo, that is what it looks like there, if you guys wanted to see that, there's a good little swippage and swappage for you, but that does it for your Darby Allen figure comparisons. So for your Kenny Omega accessories, man, this is all you get. You get interchangeable hands. Out of the packaging, you get mic holding hands, and then you have these entrance hands, so I'm guessing, I mean, there's a few different things you can do for this. You know, it can be, like, spreading your arms out, like, taking in the crowd. You can, like, you know, you can put your hands on the ground. He can slap the ground. He can use it as, like, his off hand while he shoots with the other hand, and I would recommend just pairing your Unrivaled Collection Series 4 hands with it, so this is the, you know, this is the off hand, then there's the shooter hand, and if you guys are wondering, it is actually not the exact same pose as his Series 4. So this is the Series 4 hand, the, like the off hand, and then this is the Unmatched Series 1. So it's a tad different there. As you guys can see, the fingers are flexed a little bit more there. So that is the difference between the Series 4 Unrivaled Collection Kenny Hands and then the Unmatched Series 1 Kenny Hands, if anybody was wondering. So getting into the Kenny Omega Man, starting out at the head sculpt. I like this head sculpt. I was worried about it. I didn't know how I completely felt about it. I still feel like it may be missing a little bit. I do want to compare it to one of these other head sculpts that BEW 
you made me because it reminds me a lot of this so they're very similar right I feel like this one may have slightly better likeness the hair is obviously a little bit different but they're very similar like good god they're they're very very similar indeed but I really like the pissed off expression there you guys know I'm always wanting determined pissed off head sculpts so I will take this 100% the hair sculpt looks great and the hair color looks great you have like the mixture of browns and blondes and grays going all through the haircut there five o'clock shadow looks really good the torso looks really good as well same torso choice that they've used on the other kinnies as well as the arms i'm pretty sure the arms and everything look the exact same white wrist tape going on this gear man this gear is so sick now this is from all out 2020 and me and my brother always make this point man the the airbrush gear like when he comes out in it not all the time does it look that great like you'll look at it and you'll be like yeah that's okay gear you know it's airbrushed it's got some cool things going on with it but when they make them in figure form bro they always look a hundred times better for whatever reason but the details on the airbrushing looks amazing and it almost has like a matte finish on the figure too so they it doesn't have like that gloss feel or look that the series 4 figure had and the joints also just feel tighter on this figure for whatever reason like the torso and the ab crunch feels really tight i don't even know how to describe it. the shoulders feel good as well we may be looking at the best kenny omega they've made man because these tights look super sick we are going to do a comparison between all the kinnies but dude i really like the way this gear looks like you got the omega logos on the sides there and the blue and the golds and everything mixed in together just super dope man so sick i mean good god it does have kick pad rotation which is beautiful he's got the omega logos going down on the kick pads just so many different details and little things on this figure that you you know every time you look at it you notice something new there so they just knocked it out of the park man i really love this kenny but i can't even describe it man it feels fantastic in the hand as well oh dude what a just beautiful piece man i cannot wait to kick some people's ass on vindication with the elite champion all right guys so here is the kenny omega comparison so up front we do have the new unmatched series on the left we have the aew unrivaled series 4 the aew ringside exclusive ring kenny the aew unrivaled collection series 1b and then the regular unrivaled collection series 1 kenny so seeing all these kennies up next to each other man it's surreal that we have so many official kenny omega figures i will say that series 4 and the unmatched are the best of the best the series 1 of course we all know the different deals there the series 1b is just an updated skin tone but just the tooling and everything man the way these figures feel in the hand is so much different like the way they made everything you can definitely see the improvements like no doubt about it you can already see the improvements from series one uh of the unrivaled collection up next to the series one of the unmatched collection and as far as gears are concerned guys you guys can see there which one is your favorite gear you like the pink gear the green gear the series four right here or the unmatched man i don't know they're all very sick in their own ways and i love them a lot also if you guys wanted to see a head swap between these we can knock that out real quick i know that's going to be something that we have to do in all the you know the aew reviews because people are going to be interested to see how different kenny's look with different head sculpts so that looks really sick right there with the unmatched head on the series four and then we have the screaming head sculpt on the unmatched collection figure and that looks absolutely insane as well so yeah man i don't think you're gonna be able to go wrong with any of the kenny omegas man this is just god in heaven this is things we've been dreaming about man and here it is that is just electrifying man that's that's freaking sick af just seeing all these kenny omegas i gotta get more though man we gotta get more i want more like we really like it we want more and then if you guys wanted to see what the unmatched kenny omega torso and head sculpt looks like on the aew ring exclusive from ringside here is what that looks like so here's the green attire with the unmatched top and head sculpt that looks pretty sick as well and then if you guys wanted to see it on the aew series one kenny in the pink and black there it is as well and that looks freaking sick i mean you can't go wrong with it man being able to switch these torsos and head sculpts like we are with the with the different gears and everything is just so spectacular man they changed the freaking game but i think that pretty much wraps up our two in one aew unmatched collection series number one kenny omega and darby allen man had a ton of fun reviewing these figures so exciting every time i get some aew figures man it just makes the world go round you know what i'm saying this kenny is super sick the darby is super sick man like if you did not grab these go grab them if you missed out on all the kinnies go grab this one if you miss out on on the darby go grab it i can't wait to see these at retail like hopefully these hit retail hopefully by the time football season starts i would i would imagine but you never know man you never know but i highly recommend both i think they look fantastic if you guys would like to pre-order them go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save 10 percent when you shop over there man love the way the the aew championship looks on the kenny the tnt i will say the tnt championship doesn't fit around darby's waist very well that is a clear sign that it is too big but the aew championship does look fire on the kenny and the elite championship of course as well you know you got to plug that in there but thank you guys so very much for checking out the review before we get out of here guys let's get into our random shout out and this shout out is going to go to leon
Leon Shoyinka, who says, I'm a huge John Cena fan, so I pre-ordered five of them, so I think I've crossed the line, Bradley. And that is awesome because he, he bought five Ultimate Edition John Cenas. I hope that's true, Brad. I hope you weren't fibbing, because if you're fibbing about buying five Ultimate Edition John Cenas, that figure is absolutely immaculate, so I hope you're not uh, lying about that, because if you're lying... You crossed the line! 